And following the governor's announcement, the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare held its weekly COVID briefing. Our Shira Matsuzawa listened in on that. She joins us now with what was discussed on the call. Fill us in, Shira. Nation's director Dave Jepson says we've reached a vaccination milestone. He says 80% of those who are 65 and older have now received at least one dose of the vaccine. But with record number of hospitalizations and ICU admissions, some are wondering why aren't we also seeing a record number of COVID cases? Uh, some of these tests that are being more commonly used now, uh, home test kits, that kind of thing, are not always reported to public health. So we don't always, we always knew that was happening, but um, uh, we're not alone across the nation. And that's one reason why our hospitalization data, our outbreak data, you know, our um, other data really helps inform this outbreak very well. The numbers of cases have never been a absolute truth by any means. And we think that's probably even more true now. And that was Dr. Christine Hahn. Now today, the state's immunization program manager, Sarah Leeds, says last week over the week before, they saw a 2.3% increase in total weekly administrations of the vaccine, which would include the day after the FDA fully approved the Pfizer vaccine. She says this week, though, it does not appear they're seeing an increase. However, those numbers are typically updated later today, so that could change. But another big topic of discussion today, monoclonal and antibodies, which like the vaccine is under emergency use authorization and clinical studies have shown it's safe and very well tolerated. Think of it as a seat belt and an airbag. The vaccine is your seat belt keeping you in place. Don't uh, don't feel like your airbag is going to save you. The airbag maybe is that monoclonal antibody if you once you get in an accident, but you don't want to rely on that. You want to be vaccinated um, and that's your best protection. Now, Dr. Hahn adds this is a good option for people who are not vaccinated and at high risk. An infusion center in northern Idaho could also open as early as next week. And we have much more on today's briefing. Just head on over to KTVB.com. Mark. Yeah, they really covered a lot of ground today. Shira, thanks.